In this video, we're going to take a look at what happens behind the scenes when you do an image upload or a file upload in a UX component. So you can see that we have a simple UX component that has an image capture button. This particular uh, component is bound to a uh, SQL database and um, uh, if we go to our controls here, we see that we have uh, two image controls, one called image file name and one called thumb the uh, thumb file name and we're doing an image upload uh, when we click this button over there so you can see the image upload is defined there currently it's set to a mobile image upload which means it's going to use the camera if we're on a mobile device or it's going to use the camera simulator if we're on a desktop device and we're uploading to the uh, field called uh, image file name which is a character field so that means we're, we're going to be storing the file name of the image uh, in the uh, this field in the database and then storing the physical file in a folder on the server called uh, image upload tutorial and then you can see that we've also specified we'd like to create thumbnails we'd like the thumbnail to also be a physical file in the same folder image upload tutorial and we'd like to attach a suffix to the file name so also, because we're using um, uh, the mobile uh, uh, camera simulator over here, uh, the image that uh, gets created is going to have a, a name that we don't have any control over. So first, let's go here and actually run through this once and then go back and take a look at uh, what's happening behind the scenes. So we're going to go now to uh, live preview. And uh, if we, uh, before we actually do the live preview, if we go to uh, the folder on the server, to the image upload tutorial, we can see that currently there's no files uh, in that in that folder. And if we also go to our uh, database over here, we can see that if I do a refresh right now, there are no records uh, in the database. So let's go ahead now and add a new record. So we'll go over here to fast preview and. Uh, we'll leave the image name field um, uh, well actually we'll go here and we'll type and say test and this is my test image then we'll go ahead now and capture an image so I'm going to go and capture this image called um, 43001 and now basically if I were to go and look uh, at the folder on the server we'll still see that there's nothing there because um, the data, the file will not be written to the server until the record is actually committed when I press the submit button. So since I haven't yet pressed the submit button, the uh, file hasn't been written uh, to the server. This record that I'm entering has not yet been committed to the table. If we go here and do a refresh, we can see that there are still no records in the table. But the image itself has been uploaded to the server and the image is just sitting on the server right now in temporary session storage and uh, only when I press the submit button will the binary data that is sitting in temporary session storage be extracted from its temporary location and then physically written to uh, the file on disk. So that means that if the user never presses the submit button and abandons this record the uh, data that is sitting on the server will just go away um, gracefully at the time the session expires. So now let's go ahead and uh, click the submit button. So I'm going to click the submit button now and now we can see that um, the SQL has been executed. We can see that um, since we're using the camera uh, an arbitrarily GUID file name was assigned uh, to the data over there. So now if we go to the uh, folder now and look in the folder now we actually do see that a physical file has been created uh, and the thumbnail has been created with the underbar thumb uh, suffix uh, associated with it and if we go to the uh, table the SQL table now we'll see that a record has been created over there and if we look at the record itself we can see that the um, actually it's easier to go to the form view here we can see that there's a GUID file name that has uh, been used so let's pause now and pick it up in the next video where we talk about um, how you can control this file name so we're continuing now um, uh, uh, our discussion about what happens behind the scenes uh, when you do an image upload or a file upload in a UX component and we've been looking at the um, uh, image upload 
done using the camera simulator and since the camera simulator um, uh, it doesn't allow you to specify what file name is going to be used on the server these uh, the files that were created have uh, an arbitrary GUID uh, name that was assigned by the uh, by the mobile device when it when it uh, took the picture or in the case of the um, HTML5 um, simulator uh, since we're working on the desktop right now using the HTML5 camera simulator um, the good was just arbitrarily assigned but uh, uh, in a real application you might to have you might want more control over these file names yeah so uh, you might want to replace this with some other file name so let's assume now that what you want to do is uh, at the time that you capture the image so let's go here and create a new record and we're going to go now and capture an image um, using the sim the camera simulator and now um, let's assume that um, that I'm going to type in some value here called say um, my image and uh, and I'll just type in some arbitrary description this is the description and let's say that what I'd like to do is when I press the submit button is um, um, when I write this data uh, to the table and create the physical uh, files for the uploaded image I'd like to use this as the file name um, for the image rather than the good so the way that that we're going to do that is we're going to put some code in the uh, server side event that where the data is written to the database so you can see that in the after dialog validate event over here we're currently calling into uh, server side action scripting to save the record uh, to the database so what we'd like to do is um, after this code has run so in other words over here if we start putting in our own code over here we'd like to check to see whether the um, record was uh, um, uh, successfully saved to the database and then what we'd like to do is change the name of the file name uh, from the um, um, meaningless GUID to some meaningful name so first of all before we do that let's go here and examine some of the data that is made available to us by this action so I'm going to uh, put my cursor inside the line and then go action JavaScript action scripting and say show variables exposed by this action so the variables that I care about are this one the record was sa saved which is either true or false so this is going to tell me whether the record was successfully saved so let me copy that to the clipboard and then just um, paste that in and then let's go back here again and click uh, show variables and then the other variables that I care about are towards the bottom here are these two this tells me uh, what the primary key uh, was of the record that was just either inserted or edited so let's uh, cancel this and then I'll just go here and uh, uh, paste in those two values so that I have them available to me as I start writing code so what I'd like to do now is write some code that is going to check to see uh, first of all was the record um, successfully saved then if so I'm going to uh, basically do a query and find the record that was just either um, edited or entered and then find out what file name was assigned on the uh, server and then go ahead and modify that so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video so we're continuing with our tutorial on uh, behind the scenes on an image upload or a file upload in the UX component and we've now added some code uh, which we'll explain as we debug through it on um, uh, how we're going to change the uh, file name of the uploaded image uh, on disk and also th um, uh, that is stored in the, uh, the table so let's go back to uh, live preview now and upload another image so here we go we're back in live preview and let's go ahead now and add a new record so we'll click the new record button and then if we go now to our image upload folder we can see that at this point there are just two images here because we've at this point only um, created one record and also if we go to our uh, SQL table we can see also that there's currently only uh, one record in the table 
So let's go ahead now and uh, click uh, New Record so that we're going to start creating a new record. And um, this name over here, uh, I'll say um, image1, is going to be uh, the uh, string that we use to physically name the image. So we'll go here and say this is the uh, description for image1 and then we'll go ahead and do an image capture. Uh, using the, cam the camera simulator, so we'll just go there and choose that image. So now, uh, the image now at this point has been uploaded to the server. It's sitting on the server in temporary session storage, but it has not yet been committed to the database, and it has not yet been written to the file on the server. So if I go and look at uh, this directory now, it still only has two files in it. So let's go ahead now and press the Submit button, and then debug through uh, the code. So now we press the submit button and you can see now um, we're inside the uh, after validate event uh, handler and this flag now record was saved is true. So that means that if we go back to our database now and do a refresh here we can see that the new record exists and if we switch now to say form view we can see that uh, the file name that has been stored in the table is the GUID file name but if we go to um, and, and if we go here to our um, upload folder and look here at the images we can see now that there are four images here and the two new images have been saved uh, into files on disk using this GUID so D86 which matches D86 there. So now basically we're going to be debugging into our code uh, where we're going to uh, rename that file. So let's step through the code now. So the first thing that we do is we uh, write a SQL statement that's going to select the ID, that's the primary key of the record we just created, the image name uh, which was the uh, name that we specified we'd like to use for the file names, image file name, thumb file name from image upload tutorial, that's the name of our table, where ID, which is the primary key, is equal to some argument called PK. So now we're going to go ahead and create a SQL arguments object and we're going to open up our connection. And uh, whenever we do any alpha DAO operation we always uh, return a logical value, true or false, to tell us if there was an error. If there was an error, the error text will be inside um, the um, uh, cn dot result set um, do, sorry dot call result dot text this code is wrong it should it should say cn dot call result dot text uh, but there was no error so now we're going to basically create a um, an argument called pk which to match this value over there and we're going to set it equal to the primary key value so there's the primary key value and it's in this uh, variable rtc primary key table which you recall uh, we saw was one of the values that was returned by the uh, action by the action script. So let's carry on now with our code and uh, now we're going to basically execute the SQL statement. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing now to step through the code and uh, we're now going to execute the, our SQL select statement passing in the SQL statement and also the arguments and then we look at flag. Flag is true which means that the command executed successfully. So again we basically uh, can skip over this line here. Again this is an error. This should be cn.callResults.txt. I apologize about that. So now that we've executed the query let's get uh, the result set. So we dim result set as SQL colon colon result set and then we get the result set from the connection object. So now we have a result set and then we're going to read out of this result set image name. So that's image 1 which is what we typed into the field. File name which is um, the uh, file name that was stored in the record and you can see there's the GUID value for the file name. And then thumb file name which is the um, thumb, the th file name for the thumb, for the thumbnail that was created. And again it's using the um, the GUID. So now we go and free the result set because we no longer need that and now we basically create two new strings, uh, two new variables called file name 2 and uh, thumb name 2 
based on the original file name. So you can see we're using image1 and then image1 under bar thumb. So these are the uh, file name 2 and thumb file name 2 represent the file names that we would like to use. So we want to now replace the physical file on disk with these new files. So now we're going to check to see does file name exist. It does exist. Therefore we're going to go and rename it. So now if we go now and look on uh, the folder on disk we can see that um, the thumbnail hasn't yet been renamed but image 1 has been renamed and then let's go ahead now and then rename the second uh, file name. So now we've renamed both file names. You can see that now we have image 1 and image 1 under bar thumbnail. And now the final step is to actually update the value in the record in the database. So here's our SQL statement uh, over here. We're going to do an update and we're going to set image file name to an argument, file name 1, and then thumb file name to another argument. Uh, where the primary key matches the primary key. So now we're going to go add two new arguments and then execute our query, uh, which is true. So now what we can do is go back to the database, um, which is uh, over here, and then do a, a refresh. And we can see now that the physical file name that has been stored in the image file name field and the thumbnail field has been updated to our uh, new file name and then let's carry on so now again we check for errors there's no errors we close the connection down um, run and we're done so we basically now we've basically updated the uh, data uh, in uh, in the server and um, uh, updated the uh, files, the physical files that are stored on disk so uh, what we've seen in this video is um, basically uh, what happens uh, when an image or a file is uploaded, how the image is stored in temporary storage on the server and then is only committed to the database at the time the record is um, actually committed and then how you can use uh, XBASIC in the after dialog validate event to manipulate the file that is stored on disk and also to manipulate the value that is stored uh, in the record. Thanks very much for watching.